गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे विल बी वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट जेनरलस्ट जेनरलाइज ब्रेसेंस एम्स एल्गोरिदम इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द ब्रेसेंस एम्स एल्गोरिदम फॉर द वैल्यू ऑफ एम लेस देन वन नाउ दिस जेनरलाइज ब्रेसेंस एम्स एल्गोरिदम रन फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ एम ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू वन नाउ वट डज द एल्गोरिदम एग्जिक सेज The first step says that read the line endpoints that is x1, y1 and x2, y2 such that they are not equal. In the second step, we need to find the value of delta x that is x2 minus x1 and the value of delta y that is y2 minus y1. In the next step, in the third step, we need to initialize the starting point that is our starting point will be x1, y1 only just like the previous case. So. we will initialize the starting point that is our starting point that is x will be x1 and y will be y1 so we will be start we will be starting plotting from the start point then there is a new variable s1 and s2 in the fourth step s1 means the sign of x2 minus x x1 and s2 means the sign of y2 minus y1 this sign means if it, it if it is positive it will be plus 1 if it is negative it will be minus 1 now in the fifth step we are checking if the value of delta y is greater than delta x if the value of delta y is greater than delta x then we need to exchange the values of delta x and delta y if delta y is greater than delta x then we need to exchange the values of delta x and delta y and we will set the exchange variable as 1 that is exchange has happened to indicate that exchange has happened else if delta y value is less than delta 6 then we need we need not exchange the values of delta x and delta y and so our exchange variable will be 0 Now in the sixth step we start with the decision parameter. Now I have named this decision parameter as e. In the previous algorithm I have named it as p. So it doesn't matter which uh, variable you are using to indicate the decision parameter. It can be a, b, c, d, anything if you like. So the decision parameter's value is two into delta y minus delta x. Now. we will start plotting and in order to plot in the first step we need to set the i counter as 1 just like the previous case then first we will plot x and y so first x and y holds the value of the first point only x1 y1 so first at the eighth step we will plot x and y that is we will plot the first point x1 y1 now from ninth step onward we will consider a loop now what did the loop ch- check in the previous algorithm also we were computing something based on the value of the decision parameter p if the decision value parameter have a value greater than or equal to 0 we were computing something and if it has the value lesser than 0 we were computing something similarly in this case also we will be computing something based on the value of the decision parameter e now while e is greater than equal to 0 we will entry into the loop after entering into the loop if we see that our exchange variable has the value of 1 then we will increment x by the sign of x2 minus x1 now always remember if it is positive it will be plus 1 and if it is negative it will be minus 1 so by default we will increment x by x plus 1 right if it if s1 is 1 then plus 1 if s1 is minus then minus 1 so we will increment x by s1 else if exchange value is 0 then we will not increment x x will remain as it is but y will be incremented by s2 and in any of the cases after doing this we need to change the new value of decision parameter so my updated decision parameter will be e minus 2 into del x so what did we see we saw that if our in this step if the value of the decision parameter is something greater or equal to 0 we will enter into the loop and we will check the in fifth step what is our exchange value if our exchange value is 1 then we will increment x by 1 and y will remain as it is but if our exchange value is 0 we will 
increment y by 1 but x will remain as it is and in any of the cases after doing this the value of e will be updated to e minus 2 del x. Now this loop will be repeated while e is greater than equal to 0. Now after this step we will go to step number 10. Now step number 10 says that if exchange value is 1 then we will update the value of y as y plus s2 else exchange value is 0 we will update the value of x as x plus s1. Now see one thing very carefully that in this step we only incremented x y was not incremented in this step or here we incremented y x was not increment x was not touched so in this step depending on the value of exchange that is 1 or 0 these two things will be done now after doing this again we need to update the value of e now the value of e will be the old e plus 2 into del y now this step will go on repeating and in the meantime each time we will be doing this we will increment i by 1 it see i equal to i plus 1. Now how many times this i will be repeated or this whole procedure from 8 to uh, step 10 will be repeated. This will be going on repeating till i is lesser than equal to del x. If i is lesser than equal to del x go to step number 8. So 8 to 11 will go on repeating this 8 to 11 steps that is 8 step, 9 step, 10 step and 11 step. This 4 step will be go on repeating till i's value is lesser than equal to del x. And after these all 13 steps says stop. So this is all about the generalized Wessensheim's line drawing algorithm for the value of m greater or equal to 1. Now we will be taking one example and we will be solving that example using this algorithm so that we can understand how this algorithm procedure works in a better fashion. Now we will be taking one example and solving this generalized presence, uh, this uh, example using the generalized line drawing algorithm. Now a sum is given that consider a line between 0, 0 and 6, 7 and using this algorithm plot the various points. Now from this uh, uh, sum what do we get the values our x1 y1 is 0 0 and our x2 y2 is 6 and 7 and between these two points we need to plot the various points. Now x y y1 is 0 0 and x2 y2 is 6 7. So what is our del x? Our del x is x2 minus x1 that is 6 minus 0 6 and our del y is y2 minus y1 that is 7 minus 0 7. Now uh, in uh, step number 1 it says read the line endpoints x1 y1 x2 y2 which we have done. In step number 2 it says that compute the value of del x and del y which we have done in these two steps. Now after doing this we first need to check whether generalized Bresenson's line drawing algorithm can be executed on this one or not. So we first th uh, saw that m value of m is 7 minus 6 which is greater than 1. So we can conclude that yes this algorithm can be executed on this pair of points. Now in uh, step number 3 it says initialize the starting point x as x1 and y as y1. So we have initialized the starting points our x1 y1 was 0 0 so our x is 0 and our y is 0 that is x is x1 and y is y1. Then it is said that uh, in step number 4 s1 will be the sign of x2 minus x1. Now x2 minus x1 is 6, 6 means plus 6 so plus means positive so s1 will be plus 1 and similarly y2 minus y1 is 7, 7 is positive, positive means plus 1 so s2 means plus 1. Now in fifth step it says we need to check whether the value of del y is greater than del x. We have seen that yes the value of del y in our sum is greater than del x that is 7 is greater than 6 which is true. Now if it is true we need to exchange the values of del x and del y. Now previously our del x value was 6 and del y value was 7 so now it will be swapped. So now our del x value will be 7 and del y value will be 6 and from now on any 
where we will be use if we use this values of del x and del y we will be using the updated values only and not the values in the first step and it says that uh, exchange the values of del x and del y and set the exchange variable to be as one so we have set the exchange variable to be as one now in step number 6 it says that compute the value of the decision parameter e now the decision parameter e value will be 2 into del y minus del x that is del y is 6 and del x is 7 so 2 into 6 minus 7 that is 5 now e's decision parameter's value is 5 now in step number 7 it says i equal to 1 so we will start from the value of i equal to 1 now it says plot x and y so first our x and y is what this is our x and y so we will plot x and y that is plot 0 and 0 so we have plotted this thing now in step number 9 it says while the value of e greater than equal to 0 do a certain number of steps now in our sum is the value of e greater than equal to 0 yes the value of e is greater than equal to 0 so we will enter into the loop now after entering into the loop it says that if exchange equal to 1 then x equal to x plus x1 is our exchange equal to 1 yes our exchange is also equal to 1 so if x is equal to 1 then x equal to x plus s1 and what is our s1 our s1 is plus 1 and our s2 is plus 1 also so our x will be the previous x plus 1 that is 1 right and the else line we we won't be entry and uh, the next line it says that e equal to e minus 2 del x so e will be e minus 2 into del x which is equal to the previous e that is 5 minus 2 into 7 that is 14 now 5 minus 14 is minus 9 fine now step 10 says that if x change equal to 1 then y equal to y plus s2 yes our x change equal to 1 so y equal to y plus s2 our previous y was 0 uh, 0 so 0 plus s2 is 1 so 0 plus 1 that is 1 fine now in this in the next step uh, uh, sorry uh, and with this we need to compute again update the value of e so the value of new value of e will be e equal to e plus 2 into del y so our previous value the value of e in the just previous step is minus 9 not this 5 this will be just in the previous uh, procedure so minus 9 so the value of e will be minus 9 plus 2 into del y del y is 6 so 2 into 6 that is 12 so minus 9 plus 12 is 3 now step number 12 says i equal to i plus 1 so our previous i was 1 now our i will be 2 now if i equal to i plus 1 the next step says step 12 if i is lesser than equal to x go to step number 8 that is go to plotting we will check our del x is 7 right so 2 is less than 7 yes 2 is less than 7 so we will be again going to start from plotting now we will plot the values of x and y so what are the values of x and y in this step the value of x is 1 and the value of y is also 1 in this step so we will be plotting the value of x and y so plot 1 and 1 sorry fine now again in step number 9 it says while the value of e is greater than equal to 0 do certain step our value of e in the last step was 
3 is greater than equal to 0 which is true so we will be entering into the while loop and after entering into the while loop what we will see we will see if our exchange equal to 1 yes our exchange was 1 only so if exchange equal to 1 x equal to x plus s1 now our previous x was what 1 so 1 plus 1 that is 2 we will update the value of e e will be e minus 2 del x now our previous e was 3 this step 3 so 3 minus 2 into 7 that is 3 minus 14 which comes as minus 11 what does step number 10 says step number 10 says if exchange equal to 1 then y equal to y plus s2 yes our exchange was 1 so y plus s2 that is y was previous step 1 1 plus 1 that is 2 and what is our new value of e e will be e plus 2 into del y our previous e was minus 11 plus 2 into 6 that is 12 so minus 11 plus 12 which will be coming as 1 right step number 11 what does it say i equal to i plus 1 so i was previously 2 now i will be 3 now step number 12 says if i is lesser than equal to x go to step number 8 is 3 lesser than equal to 7 yes so we will be going to step number uh, 8 so step number 8 what does it say it says to plot the numbers first so we will plot 2 and 2 okay now what does it say again we will see why e is greater than equal to 0 was our e in the last time greater than equal to 0 yes our e was 1 it is definitely greater than equal to 0 so we will enter into the while loop is our exchange equal to 1 yes so x will be x plus s1 previous x is 2 so 2 plus 1 that is 3 so what will be our e our e will be e minus 2 del x that is our previous e was 1 1 minus 14 that is minus 13 so in step number uh, 10 it says if exchange equal to 1 y equal to y plus s2 our previous y is 2 so 2 plus 1 equal to 3 and what will be our new e e will be e plus 2 del y so e in the previous step is minus 13 so minus 13 plus 2 del y that is 12 so minus 13 plus 12 is definitely minus 1 now, uh, in 11th step, what does it say? It says increment i was by 1. So, i was previously 3. Now, i will be 4. Now, 4 is it less than equal to 7? Yes. So, we will go back to step number 8. And step number 8, what does it say? It says plot the value of x and y. The value of x is 3 and the value of y is also 3. So, we will plot 3 and 3. Now, after doing this, what does it say? While our uh, e is greater than or equal to 0, we will be doing certain step. But we, we are saying that in the just the last previous line, the value of e is minus 1, which is not greater than or equal to 0. So, we will skip uh, step number 9. By skipping step number 9, what we will be doing? We will go directly to step number 10. So, step number 10 says that if exchange equal to 1, which is in our case, so y equal to y plus s2. So, y equal to y plus s2. Now, the previous y was 3, 3 plus 1, that is 4. Fine. This is y and x will remain as it is. So, x remains as 3. Right. And our... Uh, e will be updated. So, our new u value is our previous e value plus 2 into del y. So, previous e value was minus 1, minus 1 plus 12 that is 11. So, and now we will increment i by 1. So, we are incrementing i by 1, i equal to 5. 
now we will see that 5 is lesser than equal to 7 true so we will be again going back to step number 8 and step number 8 says to plot the two points so what are the two points we have got an updated value of 4 but we didn't have any value of x so x will remain as it is that is 3 and y will increment so our new point will be plot 3 and 4 right now so our i was 5 and our new point was plot 3 and 4 right fine and our previous e value was 11 right fine so in step number 10 it says while e is greater than equal to 0 yes 11 is definitely greater than equal to 0 we will enter into the loop and if exchange equal to 1 yes in our case exchange equal to 1 so we will increment the value of x so our x will be previous x plus s1 that is our 3 plus 1 that is 4 and our e will be e minus 2 del x which is equal to 11 minus 14 which is equal to minus 3. In step number 10 it says if x change equal to 1 y equal to y plus s2. Our previous y was 4, 4 plus 1 equal to 5 and our new e value will be minus 3 plus 12 that is 9. Fine. Uh, in step number 11 it says i equal to i plus 1 so i will be 6 i is 6 6 is lesser than equal to 7 yes so we will go back to step number 8 that is we will continuing with the loop so in step number 8 it says plot x and y x is 4 and y is 5 so we will plot 4 and 5 fine ok uh, after doing this we will again enter into the loop and we will check whether e is greater than or equal to 0 in our previous step e was 9 yes e is greater than or equal to 0 so if e is greater than or equal to 0 and if x change equal to 1 x equal to x plus s1 that is 4 plus 1 that is 5 and e will be uh, previous e 9 minus 14 that is minus 5 in step number 10 it says if x change equal to 1 y equal to y plus s2 previous y 5 plus 1 that is 6 and our updated e will be minus 5 plus 12 that is 7 so uh, now we will increment the value of i our i will be equal to 7 we will see that 7 is definitely greater than lesser than or equal to 7 because 7 is equal to 7 true we will again go back to step number 8 and plot by plotting we will plot the values uh, x and y so 5 and 6 we will plot 5 and 6 after doing this we will enter into the loop after entering uh, what do we see we see our e value in the previous step is greater than 7 which is greater than 0 so we will enter into the loop and we will uh, increment the value of x x will be our previous x plus s1 that is 6 and our updated e value will be 7 minus 14 that is minus 7 in step number 10 it says that if exchange equal to 1 y will be our previous y value plus up plus 1 that plus s s2 that is 1 in this case so it will be 7 and our updated e value will be minus uh, 7 plus 12 that is uh, 5 so in the next step it says that uh, i equal to i plus 1 So our i equal to i plus 1 so our i will be 7 plus 1 that is 8 and in the next step it says that if i is lesser than equal to 7 so 8 is lesser than equal to 7 no so we will come out of this uh, total procedure entire i loop and we will stop. 
so before stopping we also so here uh, the procedure ends and we need to stop so in the just previous step we got another pair of values of x and y that is 6 and 7 so the, we will plot these two points 6 and 7 as well and th that is these are the points so our points was 00 11223334 then our points was 4556 and 67 so these are the points so by this we saw that we have reached our end point 67 so from 00 to 67 these are the points in between uh, which have been plotted using the generalized present sums line drawing algorithm so by the end of this class we have been uh, we have studied two line three actually three line drawing algorithms one is ddl line drawing algorithm another is bresson sams line drawing algorithm for the value of m less than 1 and another is generalized bresson sams line drawing algorithm for the value of m greater or equal to 1 so with this the line drawing algorithms ends and in the next class onwards we will be studying circle drawing algorithms thank you